Ephesians 6, 12 to 18. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you've done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up this, the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. The armor of God is important for us believers for protection and focus in our daily lives. There is an enemy who does not want us to have a relationship with God, but God has given us a way to protect ourselves and prepare us against attacks. We are like the Roman soldiers as we prepare for battle each day. The belt of truth was worn around the Roman soldier's waist to protect their core. Strong cores kept soldiers stable and balanced in battles. We protect ourselves from attacks by knowing God's truth in our core. Biblical truth as our standard keeps us protected and grounded. The Roman soldier's breastplates protected their vital organs, especially the heart. Upright living is our breastplate and ensures our hearts can, be, can survive battles. The soldier's footwear had spikes on the soles to give their footsteps firm grip and loose soil. The devil wants our footsteps to slip during attacks, but God's peace anchors us through anxiety and worry. It keeps us from being knocked over by the enemy. Romans would carry their shields to protect them from during battles. They were so large that a soldier could crouch and hide behind it, and it would hide their whole body. Our faith is our shield. Acting on faith by following God's direction and promises reinforces our armor. Metal helmets were worn to protect Roman soldiers' heads. They would have had a large crest on the top to identify themselves in a battle. God's salvation guards our minds, but it also identifies who we are on the battlefield. It first redeems us and then restores us, protects and shields our heads when we are attacked with negative thoughts and unhealthy patterns. Choosing not to wear the helmet by not accepting God's salvation leaves your mind exposed and unprotected. Putting on your helmet by recoupling God's promises identifies who we are in Christ. Roman swords were ideal for close range combat. The word of the Lord is our sword. We need to use the word of God in our daily lives when the enemy is closest. Ultimately, we win our spiritual battles through word and prayer. Even though this armor is strong in battle, it, also, it is also cumbersome. Just putting on the armor requires strength and help from a fellow soldier. Using it in battle took years of practice and training to be successful. Putting on the armor of God isn't always easy at first. You have to train in order to use it properly. Practicing and growing stronger in your faith will make the whole army of believers stronger. Unlike the Romans, our battles are spiritual. Prayer will give us daily strength and communication with God as we go into our battles. The enemy attacks our areas of weaknesses, but also aims for our strengths. Both are likely targets we can expect the enemy to attack. We need to recognize this tactic so we can be ready every day. So put on your armor, be in prayer, stand firm, so each day we can say, not today, Satan.